Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are going all the way back to the beginning, to the bracelet that started the obsession. We are going to go over my very first Pandora bracelet. Now I don't have a fancy name for this one. It doesn't even really have a theme, but this is the bracelet that started the obsession uh, back when my husband first gifted me this bracelet. There were five charms on it, and then we slowly added one charm every time we went somewhere or had a special occasion, a lot of Christmas and birthday presents. It took several years to fill this bracelet, um, and it is more of a memory bracelet than anything. Like I said, it is not designed with any specific theme or color story in mind. Um, and most of the pieces I think on here at this point are retired. It would not shock me if none of these pieces are currently available. A lot of these are the older designs of things like the older parrot, um, the older <laughs> seahorse, the um, Eiffel Tower, the old cruise ship. So I am going to bring y'all in and show you a close-up look at everything that is on my very first Pandora bracelet. Um, this is my most sentimental piece that I own, especially since I think every single thing on here was a gift. Honestly, if I, if, if I had a fire, this is probably one of two or three things I would grab on my way out the door besides my pets, of course. And hopefully uh, with their legs, they would be able to come with me. But you know, if I had five minutes, this is one of the, the top things I would grab, especially with my husband not being with us any longer. It is one of my most prized things he's ever given me. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take a look at all of the charms left to right and uh, just show you what's on this bracelet. All right, so this bracelet could probably use a good clean, but let's go ahead. Now, this first bracelet does have a safety chain and it is on the original Pandora barrel clasp, which says Pandora on it. My husband got this when they were doing a promotion for the bracelet. A set of clips, which are not these clips, they were the snake or rope clips and I think five charms. So he got the two blue faceted uh, crystal charm. He got this pearl dingle, which is my birthstone. He got the just married couple. This was his Christmas gift to me, our first Christmas after we got married, and the dancing couple. I don't know what he paid, it was a gift, but that's five charms, clips, and the bracelet. And uh, I'm pretty sure he got a pretty good deal. So that is crazy compared to what the prices are nowadays. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're gonna go through one at a time. And I will tell you when I get to those original charms, but one of my last charms we got on this bracelet was this Do Vegas, and it has the pink and the silver, my very first like exclusive travel charm. It just has the Pandora logo on the back. Our honeymoon was in Vegas and I loved this charm. I did not even get it on our honeymoon. I got it later off of a friend from Facebook Marketplace um, when I realized they had specific Vegas charms I just had to have one. Now I have since gone down an entire rabbit hole of exclusive travel charms, but this was my first one and it had to go on this first bracelet. So then we have my original cruise ship charm. It has little anchor, has little windows, has the deck with the pool and the umbrellas. It is a very cute charm. Now, I took my first cruise in the midst of doing this bracelet and therefore the cruise charm went on here. Likewise, 
Um, the Eiffel Tower, as you can see, is a little bent. I don't know when it got bent. It has never, knock on wood, uh, bent more, but I've had it for a very long time. After high school, my mom and I went to London, Paris, and Rome. And so the Eiffel Tower is partially for that trip and partially for our honeymoon in Vegas. The two things we did while there were go to the top of the Eiffel Tower in the Paris Hotel and ride a gondola in the Venetian. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure my husband got me the gondola for Christmas the next year and my brother got me the Eiffel Tower. It's, it's either that or the opposite. One got me one and one got me the other, which I loved. Then I have this red faceted heart charm, which I love. And red ruby is my husband's birthstone. Definitely tell it needs a clean, but it is pretty. I wish they made more of these in different colors. I think they have a pink one now, but this is the only one I have. Then there's this charm, the I love you charm, which honestly, if I was going to ever sell a charm for not liking it, uh, this one would be it. But it is one of the few charms that I picked up when I was finishing this bracelet. I picked up, I think, three. This one, the angel wings, forever and always, all at the same time, right after my husband passed. And I just... I wanted things that represented, you know, his angel wings forever and always. And I love that this one said, I love you. That is why I got it. Um, but in person, it just, I just don't love it in person. But I love the thought. And so even though I don't love the charm, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. It's from a time in my life when I don't really like to get rid of things. Most of the things on this bracelet are irreplaceable. I could replace this with something else, but I am a sentimental pack rat. If I did that, I think I would regret it. So we just uh, have it here for the resentment factor, I guess. Then we have our just married couple. And this is one of the OG Pandora beads. You can tell like it has that real detail with the oxidation. They're using the oxidation as a design feature, not necessarily just as a, you know, um, after effect. Like these charms are all silver. They look better as they age and as they oxidize than they do at the beginning. I love the little bouquet. I love her veil. I love his top hat. It is a very sweet charm. And all of the charms he got me from the first five were pretty much wedding charms, except for the central one, which is my birthstone. And then we have the seahorse. So this is one of the first ones that I got on a vacation when we went to the beach, I believe. And I got it on that trip. And I just love it. I love seahorses. I have actually bought several like seahorse themed uh, souvenirs over the years. So sweetheart, stop doing that. I just like them. You know, I don't remember if I got this at Hilton Head or down in Destin, Pensacola. Um, we've been, we went on a few beach trips that year. And then I have my clips. And these are the Dahlia clips, I want to say. They have actually yellowed more with age. They were a lot more pink to begin with. But I love them. And when they came out, they were the first set of clips that came out that were all silver. And, you know, they had that pink on them. And I just thought they were gorgeous. 
and I already had clips. I had the rope clips, which I didn't like, but I didn't hate. They just were what they were. My husband got them for me. They came in the set. There was nothing wrong with them. I just loved these, but clips, you know, you've got to get two and they weren't cheap clips. I want to say they were like $60 each, which at the time was a lot of money for us. Um, but I wanted them so bad and I had them on my wish list for so many years. And then one day when I was having a really bad day, my husband took me to the beach. We went to dinner and a movie for a special date night. And we ended at the Pandora store and he had saved up the money to buy me these clips. And it was just the sweetest thing. Not because I wanted the clips, but because he thought of it, you know, all on his own. I didn't even make him bring me there, let alone buy me these clips. <laughs> so I love them. And we have my angels and it has those CZs on the front. If you open it, it is a locket. Let's see if we can't get it open has like a little spot of pink enamel inside. I suppose you could try to put a little tiny picture in there, but I like the pink enamel. It has a smooth back and sees these all around. It's just a sweet, sweet charm. And I like that it's a heart. Uh, for some reason, it reminds me of like when you have, you know, your hands kind of in a heart and you're holding a kitten. I don't know why. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Then we have these, the blue faceted charms. These came in lots of different colors. Uh, he got these because our wedding colors were periwinkle blue and silver. And so he got them for our wedding, which was very sweet. He had wanted blue and gold. I had wanted blue and silver. Well, I had wanted pink and silver, but blue and silver was a good compromise between what the two of us wanted. It was a beautiful wedding. And we had a lot of blue things that first year because of it. Then we have the pearl. And like I said, pearl is my birthstone. So that is why he picked this one. It is a simple pearl on a daisy bale. It is very sweet. And I liked that it was the only dangle I had for a very long time. Cinderella's carriage. So our very first trip to Disney. I wanted this charm so bad. Uh, and we couldn't afford it. We had to stop and save up for it. I got it a few months later. It has the gold uh, top, crown on top, the hearts. I just thought it was stunning. And a few years later, when the rose gold one came out, I wanted that one as well. Ah, uh, he saved up for that one for a long time. This one was another charm. It was an impulse buy that he bought me a different trip to Destin to the Pandora store when I was not feeling the best. He quickly learned that my love language is gifts um, and not in a materialistic sort of way. Like he would literally bring me a pencil home sometimes when I was having a bad day. But just knowing that he was thinking of me and had got me something made, made my day. And I loved this one. He picked it out. Now this is the first uh, formula for the Pandora Rose and you can see on that bottom heart that the plating is coming off in a lot of places. The new formula for the Pandora Rose is a lot better and it doesn't do that. I did a whole video on Pandora Rose. So if you want to check that out, I will link it down below, but that is what happens with the OG Pandora Rose. I will still never give up that charm because of that. Then we have the original dolphin. I have the new dolphin on my cruise uh, charm bracelet, but this one is all silver with the clear CZs. We got this on another trip to Hilton Head or Destin or one of the times that we actually went for a trip, not just for a date. We lived in a very small town about an hour from Dustin. And so we would often drive down to Dustin for date nights because that was the closest place with a movie theater and good restaurants. And if we would go for a date night once every couple months, the Pandora was right there. So it would often coincide with a Pandora charm for a fancy date. 
typically anniversaries. And we have a parrot. This is the OG parrot. He is so cute. I like the new parrot, but I think I like this old one better. He has the CZs on his back, all on his stomach. He's looking over his shoulder. It is that like real teal color as opposed to the new one is more of a blue. I just think he's so pretty. The dancing couple, you can see the little man, their little feetsies with the hallmarks and then her gown, her hair. You can see they're doing a waltz with their arms up. I just think it's so cute. Another locket. This is my beautiful wife on this side, but this is the front forever and always my beautiful wife. I just think it is the sweetest. Then best friends. My husband got me this one as well. It's one of my few rose gold pieces on here. Uh, they didn't do a lot of rose gold back in these days. And this one has fared better, but it is wearing on the sides a little. The gondola with the CZs. I love these. Honestly, I wish I had two of them so I could put them on my Europe travel bracelet. But I like them on this bracelet. And since they are, you know, representative of not only those places in Europe, but our honeymoon, they will stay here. Then we have the graduation owl who surprisingly... I bought when my grandfather passed away. He was, he was the best and he loved to learn. He was the wisest man I ever knew. And he had so many degrees because he just kept going back to school to learn and get new degrees. And at the time there wasn't a huge selection. We literally went to the Pandora store. And for some reason, this little graduation owl just made me think of grandpa. So for my grandpa, I have this sweet little owl, the new owl that came out. That's like the mama and baby owl. I kind of wanted to get for him as well, just because this one spoke to me so much, but you can see he has CZs for eyes. He has the full tassel hat, CZs on his stomach. He's holding a graduation scroll, his feathers. Like it is a very detailed charm. And I love it, whether it is for your grandfather or graduation. I think it is very sweet. Uh, then another beach trip. We took a lot of beach trips in those days because that was about the only place we could afford to go since it was close by. Um, and it has the sweet little blue CZs on the starfish and then the shell, the CZs around the bale. And then the intertwining hearts. CZs on the one and smooth on the other. He got me these. And another day that I was having a really hard time. And I love them. This is the symbol I had put on his tombstone. And then we have forever family. They had very few safety chains at the time. And this is not the one I wanted, but it was the one that was available. And I thought it was fitting enough. So picked it up and I like it because it keeps my charms safe, which at the end of the day is my main goal. So there we have it. My very first most important Sweet husband of a bracelet. I'm telling you, I think it might be one of the most important things I own these days. So if you liked this video, if you have a memory bracelet, that means a lot to you. Let me know what is on it. I would love to know. And let me know what your favorite piece is on here. I don't, I don't think I could pick. They all have such, so much meaning to me. Um, I like all of them, honestly. It would probably have to be either the Forever and Always or the Angel Wings uh, for the cinnamon or maybe the carriage because he worked so hard to get me this carriage. 
I'm also very partial to the original five. So hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.